Hi, this is Jeff Alt in the big game. I'm the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. And welcome to episode 720 of the show. Wednesday is brain teaser day for the show. And today I give you the way to answer every single hedge fund brain teaser you might ever be asked. And believe it or not, Star Trek is the basis for understanding how to do it. I hope you find the show helpful and give it five stars on iTunes and Stitcher. It helps other people find the show. And with that, let's get going. Today, I want to teach you the trick to solving every hedge fund brain teaser question that you're ever asked. Every Wall Street brain teaser question that you're ever asked. And it's really very simple. And it goes back to the idea of Captain Kirk the Starfleet Academy and the Kobayashi Maru uh, question. If you're not a Star Trek fan, let me just explain the scenario. There's a no-win question that Captain Kirk has posed. Every uh, potential captain uh, of a, of, um, a Starfleet uh, ship uh, is, is required to be placed in the position where they face death and what Captain Kirk does is reprogram the computers in a particular way so that you know, he's exempt from all the worst case scenarios. So uh, he's able to defeat the systems by reprogramming the systems. Now, how does, what, how does this deal with hedge fund questions? Well, what they're really looking for is a couple of things. Number one is they want to watch your reaction to how you answer questions. So I'll give you a classic question. How much money do I have in my pocket? Now, how could you possibly know the answer to that? So let's concede that. You really don't know. So what can you do? You can pause, hesitate for a second, and very confidently say whatever it is that comes to your mind. And nine times out of ten, through that, they'll ask you one of two questions. They'll respond by saying, that's right. Or they'll say, how did you come up with that? And then you can just very calmly say a couple of different things. For example, well, I doubt if you carry 20 bucks in your pocket. I doubt if you carry uh, $5 in your pocket. I doubt if you carry 5000 This seemed like a reasonable amount. So whatever it is, and in the case of a hedge fund, you don't want to necessarily shoot low because it's insulting to the interviewer. And you don't want to shoot too high because why wouldn't they have a credit card? Uh, so... You know, using that particular example, what you want to do is very calmly and very simply, you know, uh, respond. And if they're saying, if they respond by saying, that's not right, you can always say, are you sure? What was the last time you counted? What was in your pocket? (laughs) So, you know, understand what they're looking for is creative thought. They're looking for a degree of self-confidence. They're looking to watch what your reactions are to situations. And they want to see if you're flustered or not, whether you have reasonable explanations or not, and whether you have the confidence and self-confidence uh, to respond firmly uh, and with confidence to, to what they pose. Uh, and that doesn't really come from uh, you know, being uh, your behavior. So that's the simplest way to respond to hedge fund brain teasers. Understand what they're really looking for. Work your way through the problem, because not everyone is as simple as how much money do I have in my pocket. Some of them do really require some thought. And take the time to think it through. So, um, you know, you can always say, you mind if I have a, a piece of paper or an appendix kind of work it through? You know, they're not expecting that. They're expecting someone's going to reason it through in their head. Again, you're reprogramming the problem to work for you. And that's going to, you know, if said with a degree of self-confidence and certainty, you know, they can always respond by saying, no, you can solve it in your head. Great. I'll, let me take the time to sort that through. Again, it's your manner that they're really looking for. It's your self-confidence, your certainty that they're really looking at. And if for some reason this is a firm that's out of control, that really wants a lunatic, so be it. Maybe it's not for you. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few ways that you can connect with me. The first one, of course, is reach out to me on LinkedIn. My page there is linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash the big game hunter. 
mention that you listen to the show because I love to hear from my listeners. It just puts a big smile on my face. Next, if you're an executive and interested in my coaching you, email me at jeffalpin at thebiggamehunter.us. Mention in the subject line that you're interested in coaching. I'll reach back to you. We'll set up a time to speak. We'll figure out whether this makes sense. I want to be clear. I'm not here to be your recruiter. I no longer do search work. I'm a coach helping people find their next position. And as such, my work is not free. I'm not doing this as a charitable endeavor. I'm here to see whether I can help you and whether your background is something where I can be of service. And if you're not an executive, the best place to connect with me is with JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. That's my site where I've curated information that I've created and other people have created. It's there with their permission, of course. And you can ask me questions. So right now there's over 400 pieces of content there, plus the ability to ask me questions. So again, JobSearchCoachingHQ.com is that site. And by the way, and I haven't really mentioned this on the site, in addition to doing job search coaching, I also do executive coaching and life coaching. And I've done so for years. So if you're interested in that, message me again at my email address, Jeff Alpin at TheBigGameHunter.us. Tell me about what you're interested in, and I'll get back to you and we'll talk about it. Hope you found this helpful, and in the meantime, have a great day. Take care.